Thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather briefing for Thursday, June 25th. We're seeing some overcast mid and upper level clouds out there this morning. We are going to continue to see this throughout much of the day. We are going to be expecting some sun breaks, though, as we get towards late morning hours and early afternoon. We're also going to be seeing chances for some uh, isolated showers and thunderstorms. Very difficult forecast today as our model solutions seem to be all over the place with uh, the timing and potential coverage of any showers and storms. We have some pretty weak forcing along this boundary that's going to be allowing for these storms and showers to generate, but we are going to be seeing quite a bit of instability moving to the area this afternoon, so that should help to ramp up our shower chances at least a little bit once we get closer to sunset. Let's start off by looking at our radar this morning. We did have this very light area of showers move across the far southern portion of the Delmarva. It does look like it missed uh, the island. We are currently monitoring this other area of some uh, showers that just recently popped up over south. Uh, eastern Virginia, and those are likely going to be moving along the same northeastern trajectory that we're expecting most of these showers and storms to go today. We do have another area of sh some uh, showers here across the um, west, or, sorry, east central Virginia, and that's going to continue to move northeast as well, but it does look like these will remain well north of the Wallops region. Let's take a quick look at our service analysis across the region. Uh, there we have this very weak short wave that's depicted on this map here that's going to be hanging out throughout the day, and that's where we're going to see those showers and storms develop. Also going to be seeing some instability moving to the area as we go into the afternoon and especially into this evening, which will give us a slightly higher chance for some thunderstorms as well. But after today, we should be seeing a couple days of some drier and much warmer weather. Let's take a quick look at our satellite this morning. Here you see a uh, abundance of clouds associated with that short wave. Uh, we have those showers uh, down there across southeastern Virginia. And we are going to be looking like uh, possibly seeing a little bit of sunshine towards the late morning hours as the clouds are breaking up just a little bit just to the uh, west of the Delmarva over the bay. As at 8 a.m., seeing just a few clouds at 10,000 feet, broken clouds at 15,000 feet, overcast at 25,000. Winds were from azimuth 200 to 8 knots, temperature of 75 degrees. For today, going to be looking at a high of around 84 degrees this afternoon. A lot of that is going to depend on the exact wind direction. As some models have the winds a little bit more south southeasterly, which could help to prevent those temperatures from reaching the mid 80s. Also going to be dependent on exactly how much sunshine we get as it's overcast right now, and it's another one of the many factors that our models are not agreeing on at all this morning. But right now, I have a high of 84. South southwesterly winds are going to increase from 8 to 13 knots late this morning into this afternoon, and then slowly weakening as we go towards the late evening hours, becoming more southwesterly at 5 to 10 knots, and then becoming fairly light and variable after midnight tonight. By mid morning tomorrow, they should be west northwesterly at 3 to 8 knots. We are expecting a low tomorrow morning of 70 degrees. Let's talk about our precipitation chances. Can't rule out seeing some uh, sprinkles as we go towards uh, lunchtime and then into the mid-afternoon hours, but uh, only a very slight chance of seeing a shower during that period. Shower chances do look to ramp up a bit, though, as we actually get the more forcing from the actual short wave, as well as the increase in instability once we get closer to sunset and uh, just after sunset. So we are going to be looking at some higher chances for showers, uh, maybe around 50% to 60% or so, and then about a 30 to 40 percent chance of seeing a thunderstorm. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, going to continue to see just a few clouds between about seven to 10,000 feet this morning, scattered to broken in the mid levels, and then a broken to overcast at the upper level near 25,000 feet. And that's going to be, uh, we'll see those lower level clouds increase once we get some more uh, showers starting to develop late this afternoon between 3,500 and 5,000 feet, seeing overcast at 10,000 feet at times during shower activity. As we go on through tonight, going to continue to see those clouds lower down a bit, becoming a few at 1,000 feet around uh, midnight, broken at 2,500, broken at 10,000, broken at 25,000, and the remaining um, Similar to that overnight, then by sunrise tomorrow, just seeing a few clouds at 1,000 feet, a few at 3,500, and a scattered cloud deck at 25,000 feet. We are seeing our tides normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast. Let's take a quick look at one of our short-term weather models to see how this precipitation could potentially pan out. 
There's those showers that we showed you on the radar that uh, clipped the far southern Delmarva earlier this morning. As we go throughout the afternoon, we're going to see some more um, more showers develop along that short wave as well as the instability increase. This is 4 p.m. And then this model has been pretty um, consistent showing this uh, large area of showers and thunderstorms developing around 4 p.m. Then moving across the bay towards air, toward our area between about 6 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. with the rain moving out of the area by midnight. And the best chances for thunderstorms do look to be between 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. But that is just one solution, but uh, this particular short-term model has been fairly consistent with that for later today. So talking about tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy and warm with a high of 88. Friday night is going to be partly cloudy and mild with a low of 72. And Saturday is going to be partly cloudy and much warmer, expecting a high of 92, possibly some areas in the mid to upper 90s across our warmest portions of the Delmarva, but no rain expected uh, through until we get into late Sunday. That will do it for your daily operations weather brief. Have a good day.